Hey, Umi. Hello. Okay. Um, before today, we're going to talk about uh, how to write on LinkedIn, uh, but um, let's probably give it another minute or so. Uh, without, let me, before I go through it, maybe just a quick intro of uh, what I do. And uh, mm, probably just play this video a bit. Nah. Let's check it out, guys. I just made it today, lah, or at least a couple of days ago. Lah. So, yeah, just a quick intro of what I do. Quite short, lah, but generally, generally what I do is uh, I'm here on LinkedIn to connect with everyone. But uh, more importantly, is today we're going to talk about how we're going to write a particular post on LinkedIn. Lah. So just to ask you guys, uh, hi, that Today I made a post lah, about whether just use words or going to use a uh, post with image or video posts. Uh, Generally, what do you guys prefer? Just use word only? Or are you going to use some um, like image or tag it with video? I think video a bit susala. Initially, I video, so I find it a bit difficult to make video la, because malu can. So <clears throat> it's a bit difficult la, in the sense. So writing, usually we start with posts. I think uh, with words is most of the time the easiest to do lah i believe lah so yeah hi nick thanks for joining in so the thing is that um why word first i think word otherwise uh, technically is quite easy for us to write um of course when it comes to putting our thoughts into pen i think is uh, yeah i think um like image plus some words not too lengthy true true um but of course um i generally like to maximize the words i mean linkedin post gun 1300 characters gun so i like to squeeze everything inside la. so that's also another another like a challenge for myself to make sure all my thoughts are inside it la. so yeah as um, what is that said? So probably a mix of words and image code. Yeah lah. I think that's the best way to go lah for now. I mean writing a post, but thing is right. You're using a post with words, right? The outreach is actually a lot better lah as compared to um color pack with image can. If the image sometimes can be a backfire when it's like a double edged sword. If the image or the whole entire post is not like there's no traction gun, then the post itself gets derailed and up there huh? wasted like, all the effort actually to write the entire post so yeah lah. so yeah lah, true so lah. sometimes can be too lengthy malas nak baca again so i mean yeah but uh, of course we got to use some tricks to hi nozul so use some tricks to you know to get people to continue to read lah, more importantly hey james when you're on time huh no, like just trying out with stuff la. I mean the yeah la. I mean because want to do this right the mic also have to be good la. unless you guys cannot hear me that's a bit difficult la. but hopefully hopefully everything okay la. clear la. so yep so of course uh, using uh, image alone uh, a bit susa la, because there's no gist of it can. so um, like Hazia mentioned uh, actually, it's Hazia la. Using using um sometimes uh, too lengthy, it becomes very malas to bachelor that kind of thing. But um, but it depends la. Actually, it depends. So of course, the first sentence is always important, like Susanna has uh, pointed out. Um, I don't know why some pictures are not registering, but Susanna mentioned that actually the first sentence of your entire post is actually very important. I mean, more of the headline itself, like it gives you an idea. So whenever we write a post, right, more importantly, in the beginning, just put the summary first. Um, make sure that, you know, you have that, that the gist uh, to give 
to the person who is reading that whatever story that you're writing. Lah. So otherwise, can um, if you don't have the gist, then everybody is like guessing, then probably they'll just scan right through and just skip it all together. Lah, I feel lah. so that is generally um, for writing a post. Lah. Now, um, the other thing is that um, is there any benefits of using image or video posts? Um, actually, there is. Um, of course, people. Some people are visual kind of person, so it kind of attract your attention. Um, um, but do you guys know any any benefits of using? I mean, apart from malas nak baca kan, so I mean, uh, video post itself or image actually connects you to the um, audience, or at least your first level of connection better lah. Uh, that this is based on personal experience, lor. Because all the videos and the images I post, can is generally seen by first level connection. Not so much of a second and third degree, but the first first um, connection, can uh, they tend to see more. So in a way, it's good for building a brand or more more of your own image, or you get trust, uh, trust, trusted by your first connection kind of thing. So yeah, like what um, Nozu said, if uh, post itself actually will attract less viewers lah, as compared to photos, lah, which is very true. Um, the reach out, right? The pool is actually a lot smaller as compared to a general post view. But at, at the end of the day, it depends on what is the aim of your post. Lah. If your post is actually to engage your community or engage your network people, gun. so more importantly is uh, you don't want to reach out to too many second and third degrees, you want the people inside your network to know you better. So I think, I believe, uh, po post with images or videos actually works better to get them engaged. But unless you want to reach out, so that's another thing. So, uh, hi, Vyasa. Hi, Gopalan. Thanks for dropping by. So as... um. Ali mentioned uh, thumbnail is attractive enough. Um, I think this for YouTube can thumbnail attractive enough. I'm stay lah. But generally, LinkedIn uh, the 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 thing once you scroll through the feed can it auto plays can so there la thumbnail sangat la to to. But of course, uh, more importantly, when you do videos and stuff like that, uh, subtitles are very important because generally we don't turn on sound and so subtitles actually help in getting people to continue to read what you have to offer for them la. So probably that's why la. So. Yeah, of course, Mimi mentioned image makes you think. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, la, to a certain extent, it makes you think. La, if your image, and la, don't use stock photos. La. If you use stock photos, kan, every day in and day out, pun kita tengok stock photos saja. Kan. So it's like our brain is kind of like get used to it. Really, so we just probably won't want to read or read through or see through it really, because it's just just like the other thing that we see all, along the way. La. So yeah, so real life photos like uh, you're doing work, uh, your real life events, uh, your past history, uh, everything. Then that yes, yes, that one is uh, actually more attractive in that sense. Uh. Yo, come on. Good evening. Don't call me sir, la, Eric Chukola. Uh. Hi Punita. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you here. So hi my god. Thanks for dropping by. Good evening to you too. So oh Chegukin. Thanks for dropping by too. So yeah, uh, pretty much um, that's 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 the the gist of uh, using uh, images and a post video lah. I feel um, when it comes to say um, <clears throat> what to write about. Hi Adila. So what do we generally want to write about? That that's the question for a lot of people who have started writing or has in the beginning want to write but don't know what to write. Actually, don't have to think too hard. It's, you can actually write about yourself. You don't have to reveal all the final details about ourselves. Lah. I mean, all the past dark secrets to keep inside the closet can really. Lah. But anything pertaining to work, ke, your past experience that can be helpful ke, if you want to share with people, ke, then yeah, that one would be would be good because uh, everybody likes a good story. So everybody has their own story. So you can start off writing a story about yourself, uh, like how we do in school days, can tulis karangan about yourself. Uh, I think that, that that's the best way to go. Uh, then after that, you find your own mojo, then you can find your own stuff. Then you can most likely um, 
get a little bit hang of how to write, then you'll find your own style, more importantly. So, hey, Bernie, thanks for dropping by. Hi, Afizan. First time joining, huh? So, yep, like the, hi, Jasmine. So, like uh, what Jasmine had mentioned, scroll through really fast to see stock photos and then stop looking at personal stories, photos with a good story to actually, I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, <clears throat> if we're going to use just, uh, just, uh, just uh, any day, every day, you can find a picture, can you also see, you don't want to see anymore, either, but because you want something real, no? we're just human beings, we want something that is more important. So, um, so yeah, we are curious, curious people, and we want to find out what's happening. And so generally, um, videos about ourselves, photos tend to make a lot of sense, lah. In that sense, lah. So yeah, so in that, what to write about? If we have really started writing, should there be a problem? Lah? But for those who have yet to start writing, then most likely just to list about yourself first, law about your past experience, uh, little little things that you can share to get people enticed to your post. Then then you build up your community from there la. Uh, i think that's more important la. good so um yeah yeah so so guys where do you generally get your ideas la? because sometimes when i too late sampai but i am kind of like running low on ideas la. so where do you guys get your ideas from Sometimes can I get my ideas from Duduk at Jamban? <laughs> I don't know. Lah. Ideas ideas come at the word weird orders places. So generally that's how my ideas come from. Lah. So of course when I'm out, the ideas also tend to pop up, but I got no place to write it down. So I tend to tend to lose it lah, along the way, which kind of wasted, lah, but no choice. Lah. Sometimes, yeah. So yeah, you know, like Izad mentioned, you can get it from work um, <clears throat> or current events. So that's important. So that that actually can help to um, stimulate some ideas or probably just a reflection of what you have gone through during the day. I think that's that's also very good la, in that sense. La. So yeah. So hi Sharifa, thanks for dropping by. Kaken lagi best. When I'm bathing, well, uh, ideas always flows. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know whether whether I, when I bathe, no ideas lah. Maybe it's cold water lah, too cold lah. I shower, I actually want to jabu already lah. So <laughs> water cut, how to stop? Water cut, no ideas. <laughs> Cannot mandi. So how? So yeah, yeah, you can try it, Bunny. Jamban actually works on you. Just sit there, you know, or you can be like Captain James, la. You know, usually my ideas come from reading other people's comments, either my own posts or people. Or you get your ideas from your own posts, uh, That one interesting. I, I I never get ideas from my own posts, uh. So, but but you know, you you read other people's topics and stuff. Uh, you tend to have to be, you know, it tends to pop up, la. But make sure when it pops up, can. Just write it down la, somewhere, la, whether it be there a planner or a notepad or something so that it doesn't go disappear. La. I mean, some most of the time, my ideas after a while, one one minute later, I can't remember what I, I thought about already. So, yeah. So, Sharifa ended up bringing a notepad. Yeah. But I need old school. La. I don't I don't take old notepads outside. La, to the thing. <laughs> Come on, coffee shop. Yeah. La. Coffee shop, huh? Sometimes I get distracted like, sitting in a coffee shop. I mean, so many things happening. Man. So, uh, uh, but it's a good way to chill out the mind. Like, have a cup of coffee. Then sometimes idea just flows. Oh, very good. Very good. Coffee shop happen. Seems to be an interesting place too. So, so maybe you need to. But now MCO can. But um, maybe when MCO leave, then do the coffee shop longer. Like, see if got any ideas coming in. Not. So, yeah. 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 So, now, what do we, what do we, um, do we write story or do we write facts? Because there's, there's, um, on LinkedIn, right? You see some people write whoa, purely facts, though. facts, whoa, like read also, heavy, but it's good facts, you know, good facts. 
or do you actually prefer writing story? Which one do you feel easier to write? Storical facts. I think a lot of people generally would prefer writing facts. Kind. I think facts easier, right? I mean, you give bullet points and stuff like that. It's like how we how we do at work. Right? So what do you guys think? Storical facts. Which one, if you're going to write, which one would you think would be a better way of writing? Right? Or at least you prefer. Right? Mm, mm. First is to make up your mind. Once you start writing, ideas will start coming. Huh? Yeah. Yes, Prof. Very true. If you wait, right? Never come. Really never come. <laughs> so better don't wait. Yeah, anything come down on it, just 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 hunt thumb and you just hit it really. So hi Danny. So Danny said facts. Straight off facts. Wow, power. Umi, on the other hand, stories. I've got Reese and the way. But yes, um, facts and stories actually depending on each individual. Some may be more comfortable writing facts. Some may be more comfortable writing stories. Personally, I prefer writing stories. La. Stories is, um, for me, easier to come out. La. Facts. La. I'm not a very factual person, la, so a little bit difficult. La. Hi, yeah. Second session we last week. Hey, silent viewer. Now, 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 now. No need to be silent anymore. If they can hear chit chat some more, no problem. Just started like here. Wow. Captain James will write facts all about his couple experience. All oh, from 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 where couple stop la history la. Bernie, more importantly, combination of both. Very interesting. And Punita, I think the attraction goes to popular like own stories such as how they endure and rise from hurdles. Which is, yeah, very true. I think uh, we, 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 we tend to like to read stories from people, not people who are suffering, but mainly how people actually go through struggles. So a LinkedIn post with struggles and people can resonate better. I mean, there's a lot of success stories around, la, but yeah, I mean, you write success stories, then yeah, la, I mean, yeah, la, you kind of blow our own horn, and pad, but at the end of the day, yeah, la, then everybody clap for you, then there's end of story. But when you write about struggles, how you go through and you share your experience, I think that's more important because everybody can learn from you, you see. So it's more valuable in the terms of when you, when you write about all these past experiences rather than, oh, I succeed today, that kind of thing. I mean, it's good. On and off, you can share about your success story, but generally people tend to read more about struggles because they can relate better in that sense. Uh, same as some. Um, Shahira also likes to write stories, but not so confident. Ala, I read, ma. So if I read, then other people also sure read one. So don't, no need to be so worried about nobody reading i'm sure there will be people who read one just need to yeah so wow well, miss here miss saw is here really uh, miss saw is here <laughs> Vern, Vern. shit to be honest i don't know how to <clears throat> pronounce it. fiction i'm not a fiction writer la. a little bit to start la. in that sense uh, I don't, very hard to come up with fictional stories la. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, Captain James agree with what Punita right now. Experience sharing easily drawn attention. I think very true. Uh, but I think um more importantly is the genuine one. La. Don't fake it up. La. Nobody like a fake story. La. But as long as it comes from your heart, right, then I think um I think people will actually be able to learn a lot more from from what you write. <clears throat> So yeah, same like I think uh, Muriel also mentioned story will be better one because you can learn from people's experience. Ma. So I, I think that's many of us how we look forward to like in reading uh, LinkedIn posts. Mm, mm, mm. Khalid, <clears throat> oh, thanks for coming and dropping by. So how to be yourself in LinkedIn but interesting. Uh, this one, uh, how to be yourself? I think we all can be ourselves. Chuma sometimes takut je lah. Like for me doing this for the first time, I also a bit takut lah. I don't know what to expect. Kan? So, um, uh, not to say 
uh, how cannot be yourself, can be yourself, but sometimes because of um, nervousness or all, we tend to be shy of them because it's public and it's a professional platform. Kind of everybody tends to be a little bit reserved, which is understandable, but of course you can still be yourself. Um, of course, uh, things that get people going is when you write things that is a little bit funny, uh, past experiences, you know, people like education, uh, and of course, some form of uh, funny facts. Uh, I mean, you in, you infuse some humor into it. Lah. I mean, if it's all gloomy, gloomy and all, so people find it very difficult to share that kind of thing. So I think, uh, I mean, it's okay to share sad news or so, but uh, to get uh, the vibe going, I think um, humor is still one of the better options. And uh, yeah, more importantly, it's just be ourselves lah, when, when we write. Lah. So... So, yes, yes, Avizan, sharing about struggle and challenges we face is actually a very um, good, interesting way of um, starting to write. La. I mean, I'm sure we all have our own struggles. La. I don't think everybody's life is kind of like smooth sailing, that kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what do you guys think? Storytelling. I've been noticing some... Um, Old timers starting to use storytelling on LinkedIn. I'm so surprised, uh. but uh, seems like this storytelling is getting a little bit more, more. Um, how do I say? Uh? Like everybody is kind of into storytelling mode now, uh. So I believe back in the school days, also we kind of you know, everybody tell more about sang kanchil la, no sang boyer la, no sang harimau la. I mean all the sang sang sang. La. I mean we all have listen to our stories before and you not know, all there's morals behind all these stories right so um yeah it's it's, it's important i think um to have a good story to tell la. so is storytelling important i think personally i think so la. like why may said hey, may thanks for dropping by hey. i love to read stories sometimes may resonate Sometimes also promote self reflections. Mm, very good, very good. Have you ever connected keyboard warrior, aka troll, before? And then I'm detected on your posting. <clears throat> hey, no problem. Got it. Thanks for dropping by. Ah, to answer James' question, uh, <clears throat> throw before banyak la, keyboard warrior also gone la, but then again, uh, I think I reach, I've reached the age or really want to bochap up really la, I mean, bochap up means <clears throat> don't really take into, don't let it affect you too much. I think more importantly is um, throws God, keyboard warriors God, I mean, they're all out to connect you one way or another la, but then again, um, they also don't know you. You also don't know them, what they go through in life. Maybe their struggles, you also can't understand, you know. But you have to appreciate the effort for them being so upset, right? To be able to pen down their frustration to their comment and write to you. So that takes effort. And we should actually acknowledge that effort. Lah. But whatever drives them to make that comment, I mean, all we can do is to empathize with them no? and uh, I mean try to understand from their point of view no? uh, I, I don't see any point of uh, want, wanting to win the argument and all there, there's no point in winning I mean what do we get at the end of the day nothing man. I mean shocks and real I mean yeah la, I win the I win the argument or one battle wins then, then what so I think um, it it it, it kind of you know the, defeats the purpose of building a community in the first place la. so I rather you know, just give and take law. That, that's more important. Mm. Mm. Oh, Joseph, thanks for dropping. Ariana. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, to be honest, I don't mind with any kind of post as long as this might be on Facebook 2.0. <laughs> ah, this one. Uh, a bit hard to answer, la. but uh, of course. LinkedIn is slowly also moving to uh, that side about um, about reaching this um, this this um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time, LinkedIn doesn't have video, doesn't post images and stuff. Like only recently, two years ago, they started having all these features. So it may end up that column. Like, but hopefully, everybody is still within that professional platform to share their thoughts and opinion. Like, I feel. Like. Mm. Mm. So how long to write a post? Do you generally, how long does it take you to write a post? Is it like super longer? You know, to be honest, right? I take sometimes uh, almost two to three hours to write one post. And um, it can be quite time consuming. But how about you guys? How long does it take for you to write your post? Satu jam? Two jam? Five minutes? I think uh, boss Dean takes about 10 minutes only to write a post. I think I'll call out to him. He's quite good. So, but yeah. How long do you guys take to write a post? Or at least acceptable. Lah. I, I don't know whether I'm within limits or not. Maybe two two hours, three hours, a bit too long lah, to write a post. I think 30 minutes, I think. But sometimes just thoughts doesn't flow, right? We end up deleting and deleting and deleting and end up just... Don't know. End up with nothing at the end of the day. So, yeah. Oh, Sharia took big. Oh, Summer Gang, 2-3 jam. Yeah, la, I, I take that long. La. That's the thing. So, Kaken, 30 minutes, power. Hmm. Hi. I can't see your name, but just say hi first. I don't know. Hi, Steven. Thanks for dropping by. Anafia, guess writing is not for everyone. Some may opt for video. That's true. That's true. Um, not not everybody would actually prefer writing. Video may be a preferable choice. It depends on uh, what you know, where our strength lies in. So it doesn't mean that we need to start on writing first. You can start on posting videos first. Pombole, no problem. So, of course, uh, just got to start lah. I mean, otherwise we then we can start modifying ourselves. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit out of your question. Do you leave through comments there and post on public so I can delete their comment for any conflict? Wow. Some I seen use delete their comment for any conflict in front starting flame and political reaction. Have you deleted comments like this before? Let it be someone trying to drop something means it's famous. Now, I don't delete comments. Um, unless it's spam, la, promote you to go to buy some stuff or some kinky pages waiting for you the other corner. And I don't do that. La. So if it's uh, just a matter of discussion, go open discussion and stuff like that, I will reply. And uh, But it'll take me a while to reply la, because I need to think it thoroughly before I can reply. La. So that that's the, that's the thing. La. So... But um, generally, that's that's... That's how it should be, lah. Shouldn't because somebody upset you, you go and delete people's comment. People susah payah go and write your comment. You go and put it delete, lah. I don't think it's the nice thing to do, lah. So yeah. Hmm. I have a curious because your post, are you, does this not narrow the reach in? Uh, I don't know who posted this, but um, Malaysian flavor does it not narrow your reach in a way? Um, technically, right, my network consists 90% or at least above 90% all Malaysians, then plus minus a, a lot of Singaporeans also. Um, but generally others, is a very small amount. La. So that is why I tend to write a little bit more Manglish and occasionally Singlish. Um, uh, because, uh, it, it doesn't narrow my reach. Of course, my, my post for people outside of Malaysia and Singapore, they will have difficulty understanding. La. But <clears throat> my target audience is mainly Malaysians and Singaporeans. Ma. So that's why I write in the Malaysian flavor. La. So people can actually understand better. I can can connect better la, in the terms um, more towards um, what I write la, in that sense. Mm. So yeah. So <laughs> I want to tips how to reduce time. I also want can share with me. <laughs> I write very long. Sometimes I think I take too long. <laughs> that, that's the thing. Mm. So, another thing is, some have actually approached me and asked me, ah, should I write an article? Should I write a post? I think article, um, do you guys actually write article? Um, I, I, 
I mean, I used to write one or two articles, but somehow the articles reach is very, very, even less than what is, is like really, really almost like negligible views. So I don't know whether it's good, but article is, um, is, is, is something to showcase your expertise in that sense. If you have something to share, right? If people like your profile and stuff like that and they follow you, right? This article will actually improve your expertise level. People will read your articles. So that may play into your hand uh, in that sense that you can showcase what you are good at. But in terms of writing article to reach out to people, then I think uh, it, it defeats that purpose. Uh. You may consider writing a post instead because it is a better reach in that, that sense. Uh. So, yeah. Yeah. So, Mimi Lagi Bagus took me days to think about it. Oh, they want days some more. Too long, no. <laughs> this is a really deep thought. Uh. Well, I don't think I've reached days before. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, like uh, Kaken conquered also. Post have better reach. Uh, article is very, very less reach. Uh, so, and yes, what did uh, Prof Kopalan mention? One must be ready to handle criticism with the same poise as you handle praise. Sometimes we bask in glory, not glory, uh, but we, we shock because people praise, we agree with you. And then, yeah, but you actually have to treat agreement and disagreement the same level. Meaning that uh, don't just be biased to one side. Oh, everybody agree with you. Everybody, agree with you, then you're like, oh, oh shock. Ah. But to be honest, um, negative, positive, treat it equally. Because as a person or the author of your post, can uh, you just want to be neutral and accept all feedback so that you know, that's that's how we grow and learn. You see, so um, but of course, don't don't overdo one side to the other. Lah. You just have to be neutral in that sense. Lah. Mm. so yeah so i noticed posting the same article and post the post reaching much more engaged reaching much more and engaging yeah correct correct i i feel it's the same too la. Mm. so that that's that's more important la. so um few more questions do we use external links on our post um when it comes to writing I think we we spend a lot of time writing, right? So um, when we put external links, uh, somehow LinkedIn penalizes it. I don't know for I mean they don't want people to leave LinkedIn platform and to visit other sites. So even for myself, so sometimes I put my website Eric Sue. I don't put the link there. I just Eric Sue bracket dot com that kind of thing. So it, it's like and also that. No, there's no external link to anywhere so the reach is better so if you were to write a very or you spend a lot of time writing an article or a post right try to avoid putting links huh? if you put links can um oh wasted like, the effort i feel i mean you write so hard then you put a link there then because linking say oh this one got external link oh no like, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i'm not gonna boost this up like, just push it down like. so all your effort into writing really all wasted so that that's the thing like. so i yeah so i don't really use external links i'm not sure about you guys um but um i try not to use them like, if could like. unless unless you like you are Sometimes we are selling something or post an event and stuff like that, no choice but to but then you've got to do it. You have to do it multiple times, make a multiple post many, many times. Which I don't really enjoy doing that. Also, I feel like I'm a spammer like that. Like every day spamming the feed for the same thing again and again and again, and, again, and then people start hitting me already because I'm I'm te technically just posting the same stuff again and again. So I try not to use links. Um people try to in a way cheat to post the link inside the comment section, but I think uh, LinkedIn has also caught up with it. La. So posting inside the link inside the comment section also. Um, yeah. As um, Joseph mentioned, sometimes the link relates to your summary and opinion of the article, which is true. Uh, it is actually um, to support your article, unless it's, the article is within LinkedIn, then uh, linking to linking, I think probably this is just a speculation. Probably they won't penalize. But uh, if let's say it goes out, 
it goes out from LinkedIn itself. Yeah, I mean, although we want to, you know, provide uh, evidence or reference to why we are writing, no, but somehow LinkedIn penalized for that. So unfortunately, that will actually turn down the um, reach uh, in that sense. So bear in mind, uh, I mean, there's no fixed and fast rule how to go about it. But if you think you want to reach a larger audience, then then try to use um, link. Uh, be cautious lah when you're just putting external links into your posts. Ah. That's what I do. Mm. So, yeah, definitely can write about current hot issue. I mean, but of course, uh, hot issues is everybody is talking about them already. But I think people would generally would like to learn more about you. So if you can write you know, something that is about yourself, I think people would be interested to know as well. Lah. I, I Personally, I feel that way. Lah. So I think um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is do we actually need perfect English to write? What do you guys think? Need, need, need to have perfect English? No, we need perfect English. <laughs> Technically, my, my post all uh, English or Koya one is not perfect at all. I, I'm using some English, right? But uh, what do you think? Do you... Do you Think very hard to check your grammar and your English before posting hit the post button ke, or, 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 or you just ah just post don't care. Myself, um, as I mentioned, I don't really, I don't really talk about I don't really like write perfect la. I think I I, I, I mean I, I, I also write good grammar not to say I don't ignore grammar completely but of course in, in that sense sometimes I add BM I add uh, Cantonese I add uh, Singlish I, I mean as long as it rhymes la. so um, Yeah, Kak Intan, uh, very private person. Uh, don't like that. No need, uh, no need to talk about yourself. Also can. You can talk about so many things around you, Kak Intan. <laughs> like I said, no need to reveal everything about yourself. But uh, sometimes you can, um, you know, uh, things that is happening around also can be a topic or subject. So, but uh, yeah, just langa lah. Don't mind grammar. So even... Uh, Captain James was like, no, English is perfect one. That's how perfect it is. So just post, just post. Don't care. So, which is true. Um, don't really have to think so much about our grammar. Uh, I mean, we are, we all have different level of English. Uh, so don't have to, don't have to be so, I mean, we are not born perfect one ma. I mean, of course we are we are made perfect la, but of course uh, we don't have to pressure ourselves to be so perfect one because uh, we we everyone have a different level of um you know uh, communication level. But as long as the message gets sent across and is understandable, I think you know, like me, I talk like that. My English is definitely not perfect one. Like my Roja only. So yeah, so. That's why, that's why, yeah, correct, in terms, that's why I, I write my post like how I chuck up la, in that sense. La. Yeah, la, I don't want to change to professor kind of English, la, then everybody will probably don't understand me. That's why I don't, I try to avoid writing in jargons. La. Jargons means that language that only that particular industry understands. So there's no point. In, I mean, the way we communicate with one another, I think is generally if you want to connect with somebody, Use general language, ah, tapaya la. Use like uh, banking language, ke, lawyer language, ke. Sometimes uh, I mean, a dog also. I use medical language. Nobody will understand me, la. So correct, correct. But God said the message you're trying to convey first. Grammar just langa only. Don't care. So everybody also agreed. Very right. Agreed. As long as it's understood, Gao team. Okay, just just post. As long as you get your message out, I think that's more important, lah. Okay, so um, if if the if the message is of course the message have to be clear lah. Don't don't you know get misunderstood misunderstanding pula. So yes, like Prof said, as long as you get the idea across, English is not all an issue. So we are not here to check on your grammar. 
Uh, we are here to support one another, to learn from one another. As long as the message and the gist is there, I think, yeah, yeah, that's, that's more important. Uh, yeah, correct. So, like, yeah, just langga ni many. Langga ni. Bochap, just langga. So, not necessary to need, but see, everybody seems to agree that not necessary we need perfect English. Lah. Okay. So, more importantly is the post is interesting to read and um, be able to reach out to one another and uh, form a actually helpful community. I think that's that's all it matters, lah, I feel. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I think we are 40 minutes down. What today's session passed by very fast, suddenly 40 minutes passed really. Yeah, good. Good. Uh. Thanks for supporting, guys. So, any other questions now, you guys? Uh, something related to writing or not? Um, I mean, it can be you know, that I could answer. Then I try to answer. Like, I'm not like perfect also. Like, I mean, based on past experience, I can share with you. Like, so, mm. so nice, uh, Prof. Oh, hello to all. Yeah, true. If you continue to think about English, and now well, you just think so much and nothing comes out, then you won't write it down, no wasted. So now the trick that I use is I use Grammarly la, um, to just just make sure my English is not that horrible. I I, I, I write, then I, I put it in Grammarly. Grammarly will tell me you know, some certain sentences not right, but sometimes Grammarly cannot fix everything uh, because I write in Manglish, gun, so they'll tell you error here, error there, every error everywhere, la, but uh, yeah, who cares? La, because as long as it's Malaysian language, ma, they cannot grammar, la, grammarize my Malaysian Manglish, right? So, too bad. La. So, it's their problem, la, not my problem. La. So, yeah, but Grammarly helps la, in that sense. La. So, where do I get my inspiration? Um, oh, hi, Xiao Chen. How come your image is not Showing my inspiration. Uh, like I said, sometimes the toilet bowl, the toilet seems to be a good place to get inspiration. And uh, sometimes I also do, uh, I I don't scroll through LinkedIn a lot, I think it's in the feed, lah, but sometimes I do scroll through to get ideas and, of course, engage with others lah, because I spend so much time creating stuff, right? I end up sometimes I, I lost my mojo and getting ideas. So I, I need to consume bag of ideas on where to, what to write. So sometimes that's the way I get my ideas. Lah. So toilet is one, bedtime is another one. Sometimes I go to work, I get inspiration. Or so. so sometimes I see people argue about a particular topic. Uh, then, I, oh, this one, somebody is arguing. Why? That's so interesting. So I go capo. Then, yeah, that one I can use it to use as a topic or so. Then some ideas comes from all these data rate sessions I have. Then I ask people also, my connection, sometimes they share with me, oh, can you talk about this? Can you talk about that? Can you write about this? Then everybody is very helpful in that sense. So I get my ideas from everywhere. So kind of, yeah, everybody helping one another, I think. So that was about gadgets. Uh. Uh, as you can see, my backdrop, kosong and nothing. So I'm not like some YouTuber with fancy stuff at the end of the day, I think. Um, but uh, I'm using a headset because um, I want to hear clearly what am I saying. And of course, um, when I do recording, I can hear myself also. So this is a Philips headset, uh, Fide Fidelio X2, I think. And uh, this mic itself, uh, I'm using an Elgato mic. Uh, Malaysia, hard to get. Uh, I imported it from Japan. I think it's a quite a good mic uh, because it's a USB mic. It doesn't need a, you know, like those uh, studio mic where they have an XLR cable where you plug into an M kind of stuff. This one plugs in straight into straight into the PC. So it works very well. So, so of course, got this stand uh, to help me hold my mic. And uh, pretty much that's it. Um, of course, my camera is not some, not some, uh, High-end camera, it's just a webcam, Logitech 922. La. So I think good enough for now. La. Unless, unless, um, you know, because I need to find money first. La. Susa, la. no money, la. I cannot upgrade equipment. La. So guys, please help me, okay? So if I got any session, you know, any lessons I'm conducting, calm, la. attend my session. Kasihan tau, want to upgrade pun tak boleh. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. 
Everybody seems to just want to lung down here. <laughs> so nice, I may say hi to Prof. Never say hi to me. Man. <laughs> yes, correct. Be yourself. I got only two thumbs, so I give you two thumbs. I can't give three thumbs. Okay. You are unique on your own. Very true. Very true. So pretty much um, that's all for any more other questions. I think um, thanks for dropping by everybody. I think uh, very happy to see all of you uh, inside here. So glad that you took some time to join us. What's the topic of my next day tarik session? Uh, well, the next day tarik session, I'm going to have a doctor over. Although I'm a doctor myself, I don't want to, <clears throat> not going to talk about me, but I'm going to have the doctor to come about, talk about um, the current current chronic illnesses that majority of us are facing. High cholesterol, la, hyperpressure, la, diabetes, la, all those kind of jazz, right? And um, It'll be interesting because he provides uh, in 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 sense that now is MCO, he provides actually home visits to actually treat all these conditions which are generally stable. So I'm going to have him come over and talk about his past experience and we're going to chit-chat about how to manage sugar. Do we really need to take medicine or not? That kind of stuff. It'll be interesting uh, um, because we are reaching the age whereby all these problems start popping up. Right? So how do we actually prevent ourselves from getting sick and stuff and how to prevent ourselves from getting high blood pressure, la, high cholesterol. La. Nobody wants all this. La. So we're going to talk about that. Mm, mm. Do you have a follow for any time ideas, right? Do you have a schedule to follow? Yeah, yeah, actually I have actually a LinkedIn schedule where I put all my ideas inside so that I can like what to do, what to post, that kind of thing. So every alternate Friday also is my data rate session. Wednesday is the late night chat. You know, I don't know this live thingy. I haven't slotted it somewhere, but for now it's on Monday. Then January I post on Tuesday and Thursday. So yeah, la, yeah, la. Mm. Must sit down, la. Mm, correct. You want to stand up also, okay, and cut in turn. <laughs> but sit down better, la. <laughs> Must sit down. So the Tate Eric session will be the Friday after this. Uh, we'll I will get the yeah. I'll get the doctor in and we'll chit chat about it, lor. So it'll be fun, lah. I think general health, right? Everybody is uh, kind of into health kind of thing. Genetic disorders are oh, you high end with it, lor. <laughs> Cannot talk about genetic disorders. All right. Okay, then. Uh, pretty much that's all for today's session. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining in. And I uh, hope you have a good time. Um, and thank you for interacting with one another. Also, I think that, that, that makes me even more happy uh, not to talk to me only, of course, to talk to everybody else also. Uh. So, um, no problem, Kenneth. Thanks for coming. You too, Azia. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the next uh, Theta Rate session or so. So, that's it. So, have a good evening, guys. And uh, before... Yep. I think nothing. Lah. Pretty much that's it. Lah. Anything, I'll just write on LinkedIn. Lah. So, have a good evening, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.